old fashioned cover drive. Full of push and races away across the Trent Bridge. Hello, turf here. Leicester shall pick up their first boundary, their 5 for 1. To slip in, Carter at uh, first slip as in comes uh, Freedy again, and this is squirting out. Can't really put it any other way. For leading edge, it goes out square. Probably he might have played it into his pads and it ended up going square out onto the offside. And that's either Mead Fields and there's no run. That was really fine in there by Freedy. Fast bowlers really don't like getting driven for four, do they? That was a lot quicker. That must be about five mile an hour quicker than the previous ball. Certainly seemed to be uh, quicker than Jan Mulder was expecting anyway, but he's played this one nicely again through the covers. That's a lovely cover drive again. A little bit squarer this time, but raced away between Harrison and Hamid for another four. And so just the one wicket this time for Shaheen Shah Afridi in the first over. It came off the first ball, and two very nice shots from Vian Mulder mean that Stinters a free to bowl his second. And he comes from the pavilion end again, Shaheen Shah Afridi, and he's clubbed over the top of mid-on. Alex Hale's up inside the circle and away for four. That's a big hit from uh, Rishi Patel in terms of it going miles out of the ground for six or anything, but in terms of the attacking intent against Shaheen Shah Afridi. It is a bit of a statement, isn't it, Colin? Just banged in and then Rishi Patel just whacked that away over Alex Hales' head. Here's Afridi in once more, and this is, again, he's gone for the big hit. He's not played that where he meant it to at all, and it's ended up going to uh, behind square leg. And Lyndon James tries to dive and stop it going for four. And he's unable to do so in front of the Fox Road stand. I'm sure that's where he meant it to go. Shaheen Shah Afridi. It's uh, on the front foot here, just dabbed out again onto the offside by Rishi Patel for a single. And again, the uh, opening ball of the innings apart. This is an assured start. 11 of 41. And they'll really need Alder might just look for a single. He's on 68. We'll just, yes, it was a deliberate just push and run. Didn't attempt anything other than get himself back on strike there. So he. Kyle's absolutely right. A Freedy to bowl the 19th. Jay Ball with the 20th. Here is a Freedy. Bowls dug out. Back to a Freedy. It's hit by Roman Walker. Not entirely sure. Freedy is niggle free. He didn't half jar himself when he dived to the ground uh, a couple of overs ago. When Walker now is just being turned up. 24 off 11. A Freedy in. Bowls. It's up in the air. High up in the air. Now then, can Alex Hales come round and take the catch? It's wonderfully, wonderfully held by the skipper. Wonderfully caught by Alex Hales. His third of the day. And Roman Walker has to go. And it's another precious dot ball, of course, and Mulder must stay at the non-striker's end. A really good catch from Hales. And Knott's get that little bit closer to the quarter-final. It's 145 for eight. Well, Shaheen Shah Afridi here has just bowled a slower ball. Roman Walker, in what you can understand with how quick Shaheen Shah Afridi is, he's played way, way, way too early. He's gone straight up in there, and Alex Hales takes a good diving catch. And as you said there, the most important thing... Vian Mulder, who's on 71. The blaze of one by six runs. A match down at Bristol, so... Uh, can the men's team get success? It's a full toss. Mulder will get a single. Means he's going to set about the final over. Trying to get 20 off Jake Ball. Well, Ball, Shaheen Shah Two for 26. Once again, he's entertained and delivered.